In this video, I'm going to talk about the ICT kill zones and why these are so important. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord, link in the description, it's totally free. So now let's get into the video. So first of all, we have to focus on what time you're looking at. So down here, you can see in the corner, you have to press on that and make sure it is on New York time. So now that we have done that, we can talk about the kill zones. The kill zones are a bit different depending on what pair you trade. So on Forex and on the indices, the Asian and London session is the same time, but on the AM session and PM session it is a bit different. So on Forex, the AM session is between 7 to 10 AM, and the Forex London close is between 12, no sorry, 10 and 12. And on the indices, the AM session is between 8.30 and 11, and the indices PM session is between 1.30 and 4. So now let's talk about the indicator that will help you find the different kinds of kill zones. So we have to go on to trading view, and then we have to go up to the indicators category and press on that, and then type ICT kill zones. And then we want to use this one right here. And when you have that on, we can now go into the settings of that indicator. And then we have to edit the time zones right here. So depending if you trade Forex or indices, you have to edit it right here. So the Asian session, you don't need to have to edit or the London session. But the New York AM and New York PM, you have to edit if you trade on Forex. So when you turn on the indicator, it is going to look like this. So basically 9.30 to 11. But then you have to switch this to 8.30 to 11 if you trade, of course, the indices. But if you trade the Forex, you have to change the AM session to 7 until 10 AM. And then you can change down here the Forex London close. So my personal settings, I choose to turn this off because, and that just shows the lows and it says the names of the lows. So personally, I just want to turn this off and then I'll also turn the F week labels off and opening price and also the 12 to 12 one opening. So now let's talk about why it's so important to trade within these kill zones. So the reason you want to trade within these kill zones is because there's going to be the most volatility within these kill zones. So I would definitely recommend trading in the New York AM session, but of course you could also trade in the London session or the PM session. But personally, I trade in the AM session because that's where I find the best trading trees. And the the kill zone I wouldn't recommend trading is the Asian session because that's where we usually consolidate. So now let's talk about the AM session. So as we see right here in the AM session, price right when it opens starts to expand lower. Then we're creating this further gap. Price breaks a clean retracement up into this further gap and then starts to go lower again. And then if we were to maybe trigger a trade entry, you know, you could use your standard deviations from this high down to this low. And let's say target the minus two to minus two point five range. So if we were to take a trade entry, we could short right when we touch the consequent encouragement, and then put your stop loss maybe at this high up here, and then target the minus two to minus two point five range. So let's see how this would look in a live example. So right here the AM session opens, and we see price starts to expand lower. And right here we create a fairly gap, which we could use in our trade entry. And we could also use our OCE within this opening of the New York AM session down to the low. And right here we see this fairly gap's consequent encouragement it is within a premium. So now let's play price through and see if we can make a retracement up into this fairly gap. And we see price makes a retracement. So in that case, let's just sell and put our stop loss at this high and then use our standard deviation tool 
and target the minus two to minus two point five range, which which is down here. And we want to see price hit the minus two of the standard deviation within the New York AM kill zone. So now let's just play play price through. And we see right here, price expands slower, taking out the minus two to minus two point five range of the standard deviation of this manipulation deck. So for the next example, I'm going to talk about this example that I showed in my version for elegant model as it happens in the kill zone. So you see the price sweeps liquidity, also starts to delivering from this period rate right here. So in that case, we start looking for a singular inversion further gap, which we have right here. Oh, let me just do this. So we have we have this singular inversion further gap, also this balance price range right here. So in that case, we see price makes a retracement and then targets internal range liquidity. But the important thing we're talking about in this video is all this happened within the ICT AM kill zone. So the New York AM kill zone. So we see right here at the 8.30 opening, price took out this high up here and then went lower and took out this sell side liquidity and starts to deliver from this busy, which is a bullish value gap. And right at 9.50, we start to expand higher. And at the 9.55 candle close, we made this inversion value gap. And then at 10.5, we made a retracement down into the balance price range. And then at 10.15, which is within the New York game kill zone, we see the price takes out the internal range liquidity. So all this happened within the New York AM kill zone. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the AMD model. And the reason we're going to talk about this is because this AMD model often forms with the kill zones. So as you see right here at the Asian session, as I said before, we usually see consolidation. And then in the New York AM session, or no, sorry, the London session, we usually see manipulation. Let's see when you get a manipulation leg like right here. And then for the AM session, we usually see distribution. So right here we have accumulation. Then here in the AM session, session, manipulation, and then distribution. So that's how we can see the AMD model forming with the kill zones. Let's play an example of how it would look like if we were to trade from the Asian session all the way to the PM session. So now let's play price through. So right here we form a value gap within the Asian session. So let's see if price could respect this. We see price disrespects this value gap and then continues to consolidate. So right here we create another value gap which price disrespects and we create another value gap right here. So let's see if this holds. And this does not hold right here. And then it continues or starts to go lower. And we see right here, we have this value gap. So let's see if price could hold this. And we see the price fails to hold this value gap. So now, if we just were to take trades of value gaps within the Asian session, we see that wouldn't have worked. And as I said before, it's because the Asian session is usually consolidating. As we see, we have the consolidation, then price starts to expand a little, and then we overlap the value gaps. So now let's see what happens when we go into the London session. So right here, we start the London session. So now let's look for a trading tree. So right here, we see that price has made equal highs. So this would be a draw on liquidity. And we have this value gap to support price going up to these equal highs up here. And as we see, price gaps lower, touching the value gap and takes out the equal highs up here. So we also see that London session is moving a lot better than the Asian session.
So now let's just play London session through. And as we see, the London session moved a lot better than the Asian session. So now let's go into the New York session and see how price moved there. So already here in the start of the AM session at 8.30, we see the price created this inversion value gap. So if we were to check a trade entry based on this inversion value gap, and then put our stop loss maybe at this low, and then target this high up here, which is internal range liquidity. Let's see if this would work out in the AM session. So right here we see this trade worked out. If we just do here we can see the price came down into this inversion value gap and then right at 9 30 it hit our take profit as you see right here and right after that if we were to hold the trade longer it would have stopped us out but personally I wouldn't hold the trade through 9 30 but in this case it worked out so now let's play price through in the pm session so we see already right here we created a value gap so in that case, we use this value gap as a potential trade entry. And see, price makes a retracement down into this value gap. So if we had to take a trade entry based off this value gap, we could enter it right here and put our stop loss maybe at this low, and then target just two or in this case. So in this case, we see price almost hit two or, but then stopped us out. But as we also see, this is, was in December, and December isn't really the favorite month to be trading in. So if you look through the day, we can see that the London session and the AM session moved the best, and the Asian session and PM session wasn't really that good. So that was it for this video, and I'm probably going to make a part two about the kill zones in the future. And I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing, and if there's any questions that you have or if there's any CT concept that you want to learn more about just comment down below and as i said in the start of the video if you'd like to engage with other traders you can join my discord link in the description is totally free